Hey guys, this is Sosa, and I'm gonna narrate a battle from Smogon Premier League. This is... Uh, how do I introduce this? Smogon Premier League is probably the most prestige-filled tournament in... Well, I'd say the world. Apart from some VGC tours, uh, I'd say that this is uh, definitely the most prestige-filled tour. And uh, it's absolutely the most prestigeful tournament online. And uh, I'm gonna try to narrate some battles from uh, this uh, tournament that I find interesting or entertaining. And uh, hopefully you'll see some top-of-the-line content coming out. Uh, the reason I haven't been producing any new videos for the past few months have been technical issues. I haven't uh, had access to my second stream and for some reason Pokemon Online does not like me recording with only one screen. So I can't uh, produce a lot of content from there. However, this was played on Pokemon Showdown and I can uh, use that. So let's get into it. We have a Jinx vs. Jinx matchup in the lead. I get the lovely kiss, no, no win. And I no, go into Snorlax as Chaser. My opponent goes into his uh, uh, Starmie. He switches out into his Snorlax. And this is moving quite fast. I get the critical hit Body Slam. And I decide to stay in on the following turn. If he blows up, I live. And uh, as you may or may not know, uh, just a month ago, a change was uh, discovered in red, blue, yellow mechanics, so normal type Pokemon cannot be paralyzed by Body Slam. Uh, that's actually very interesting and has some definite uh, competitive... Uh, it uh, changes the way we play the game to some extent, as uh, will become clear later on. Either way, I stay in, I check for counter with Earthquake uh, as Chaser switches into his Exeggutor. He uses Sleep Powder I, and uh, I soak it with Jinx. Um, I had made some research prior to the battle on uh, my opponent's uh, switching patterns and I discovered that after using Sleep Powder he immediately switched out into a physical Pokemon. So I decided that after using uh, Jinx as my sleep bait, I would send, send out my own Exeggutor, which is one of the best answers to a physical, uh, any given physical Pokémon. Uh, and indeed, he goes into Snorlax, and Exeggutor has the advantage of being almost guaranteed to live a Snorlax explosion. So even if he decides to blow up, uh, my executor is still alive and I can in turn blow that one up on something later on. Uh, but he does not blow up. Instead he goes into his executor to soak the psychic. We exchange stun spores here. And I decide to go for psychic once more, tearing him down a little bit. Uh, I switch into Jinx, in part to check if he's gonna blow up, and if he blows up I want him to blow up on Jinx. Uh, but he does not do that, and I go back to my Exeggutor as uh, Chaser goes into Snorlax. Body Slam connects with me and I get a full paralysis, so that stings. That's a third of my life gone in an instant. Uh, on the following turn, Body Slam connects once more and I use Psychic this time without missing or getting fully paralyzed. And Snorlax is now down to beneath 20%. It's gonna die from any hit from anything on my team. Uh, and as you can see here, Exeggutor, this is a position where Snorlax is very unlikely to explode, even if it has explosion, uh, or ra rather self-destruct. It's very unlikely to use it, because if I stay in, it's gonna uh, completely wasted compared to using Hyper Beam, which would be a guaranteed KO. And if a switch is predicted, then you can just go for Body Slam instead. Uh, especially if I have uh, uh, Gengar or more likely Raiden or Golem in the wake. 
But instead, due to the new uh, mechanics that normal types cannot be paralyzed by a body slam, I can go into my Jinx. And since Jinx can... Uh, pa pardon me, my Chansey. My Chansey, of course. And since Chansey cannot be paralyzed by body slam, this is a completely safe switch. And since uh, uh, Snorlax was at 14% HP, that means it is guaranteed to succumb to an Ice Beam. So it cannot stay in if it wishes to live. Uh, Chaser uh, shows that he has a Starmie in the wings and uses that one to soak my Ice Beam. This is obviously not gonna stay in, so I take the t uh, opportunity here to heal up a bit. And we get a Chansey Ditto, and this has been... This is ugly. Uh, Ice Beam, Chansey, Freeze Force are never fun. And I believe that I can win uh, in a more reliable way than going for the 50-50. So I decide to paral immediately paralyze the opposing Chansey. He gets fully paralyzed, so but he probably used Ice Beam. And he uses Ice Beam on the following turn. I go into my Jinx to scout for the Thunderbolt as I go to my Snorlax afterwards. And it's a speed tie, and he wins the speed tie. That's very unfortunate. Instead of having full HP and a dead opposing Snorlax, I have 15% HP and a dead opposing Snorlax. So this Snorlax, it lived, but it could have been even healthier. So that's a major shame for me. Uh, I figured that since I live an explo uh, a self-destruct guaranteed, it was better to stay in and take the risk of uh, losing the speed tie. Uh, and uh, you'll see how that works out. Tauros comes in to revenge kill. I go to my Stormy. Stormy is... I want to talk a bit about Stormy because Stormy is really finding its way as... Maybe not a Tauros counter, but as a Tauros check. It can switch in on any uh, uh, attack and live guaranteed, obviously. As you can see, the body slam does 35%. Uh, the exception is... A hyper beam critical hit, but almost anything nice from that. Um, and if Stormy does not get paralyzed, it's a big threat to Taurus because it's a speedy guaranteed thunder wave. And if the body slam is not a critical hit, then hyper beam is a very unlikely KO. At some uh, rolls, it's uh, even an impossible KO without critical hits. Like, for example, here. Body Slam only scores 35%. That's a guaranteed non-KO with Hyper Beam. So the threat here is Thunder Wave, which I abuse. And the Shansi that was already paralyzed comes in to soak my Starmie, but I go back into my own Snorlax. And this Snorlax with its 15% HP, this is a ticking bomb in most of the cases. However, as uh, Chaser goes into a Starmie, uh, I reveal that I am a Rest variant. So, uh, if I were to blow up, the uh, Starmie would die. It's, uh, I think it's a guaranteed KO, even if Starmie has max HP, but with uh, its current HP, it's absolutely, definitely guaranteed uh, one hit KO with an explosion. So I would be quite fine with that. Um, but uh, I reveal rest and Stormy does not have stab. Non-lead Stormies usually carry uh, Blizzard, Thunderbolt and Thunderwave and recover. And uh, as you will see, Blizzard, its strongest move on this moveset, doesn't do a whole bunch of damage. 21%, that's not a uh, big deal. Neither is 25%, so I wake up and have over half my HP. That's big enough to soak at uh, Taurus Hyper Beam, for example. I go into my Chansey, uh, I soak the Thunder Wave, that's gonna help me a lot. Now I will not get bullshitted by any Chansey freezes and I can stall for momentum. Uh, I can stall away my opponent's momentum quite uh, easily. I also managed to get my Snorlax from 15% uh, to roughly 50%. Uh, so I essentially gained uh, 40, yeah, almost 40% HP there. Uh, and it only costed me uh, paralysis on Chansey and uh, a reveal of rest. Um, so we're exchanging ice beams here. This is mostly me stalling a bit to uh, 
put my opponent into hyper beam, potential hyper beam range. Uh, and uh, I do get him there. He uses soft boil. That's fine. My Sno that means that my Snorlax won't take any damage. And as Snorlax comes in here, uh, Chaser doesn't know, but he can guess that I carry Hyper Beam. So, and uh, Chansey versus uh, Snorlax. If Chansey is unparalyzed, Chansey wins. But if Chansey is paralyzed, well, uh, even if Chansey is unparalyzed, maybe it's a tie or Chansey uh, gets pee, pee drained. But it's quite safe, and Snorlax is forced into some predictable behavior. But uh, when Chansey is paralyzed, it's incredibly unsafe to stay in. Uh, a full paralysis at any point will uh, more or less spell doom for the Chansey. So he has to switch out, and looking at his options, he has Exeggutor, that will die from Body Slam, Body Slam, or Body Slam Hyper Beam, depending on rolls. Jinx, yeah, that's not gonna cut it. Tauros, maybe, but it's not really helpful when Snorlax sits at 54%. So if he were to send in his Tauros there, I could Body Slam and maybe sacrifi uh, sacrifice my Snorlax with a Hyper Beam and end up doing 80% damage to his Tauros. So in the end, the only thing that remains is they're going to Starmie. Starmie recover stalls me for a bit, and at 53% he goes for Thunder Wave. If I had used Hyper Beam there, he would have died, but he predicted the Body Slam correctly. Uh, after a bunch of Body Slams, I get the Paralysis, and that's very fortunate. Uh, so, as Stor Stormy switches out at 26%, that's very fragile, uh, Exeggutor comes in. And I think th that uh, the proper play was to ju just continue uh, recover stalling. Instead, Exeggutor is worn down even further. Uh, this Exeggutor poses no threat at all to me, as I can just go into my Jinx, even if Exeggutor had used, say, Egg Bomb. I do not believe that exec this Executor carried Egg Bomb. Uh, but even if, I could uh, most probably just sacrifice my Jinx, or make a prediction and go to Chansey on the following turn, etc. Uh, but uh, most likely he used it. either Explosion or Psychic. Uh, and it doesn't matter uh, to me if Jinx uh, sees that. Uh, I predict the upcoming switch out because Jinx is beaten by physicals, not specialists, especially not Exeggutor. So looking at his options, he realistically could only go Taurus. He could maybe go to Starmie to heal up and allow me to wake up. Uh, but since my Starmie is faster and unparalyzed, that would threaten him as well. But it is the Tauros. And... Uh, the Tor Tauros is still very threatened by my Starmie, so he switches out. I take the opportunity to heal up. Now my Starmie can switch in on a Body Slam once more if I need it to. Uh, Chansey comes in on Chansey. This is obviously a stalemate in the long run, but I, I can use the opportunity to heal up a bit from uh, well, lower HP to more HP. Uh, and I also use uh, the time to wear down my opponent. Uh, and at this point in time, my opponent revealed that he was Thunderbolt. Uh, so this made me very confident that he was not, indeed not a counter variant. Uh, well, I didn't think he was uh, previously either, but it now removed all doubt. So I uh, wore him down into the lower range and sent in my Snorlax once more. I take a Thunderbolt, but I'm still fine. Uh, Chansey is a soft boiled and I'm fully paralyzed. That's unfortunate, but it doesn't really matter because I get to rest up on the following turn. And I can reveal that on the turn that I was paralyzed, I used rest. Taurus comes in, tries to threaten my Snorlax, but I still wake up with 77% HP. That's a lot. So Taurus gets a critical hit body slam, but it doesn't paralyze because normal types cannot be paralyzed. I use body slam myself. I get the 30% the damage and get the hell out of there into my Stormy. And Stormy skillfully dodges the paralysis. So now I'm in a quite comfortable spot once more. Uh, looking at what uh, uh, is on the opposing side, there's the Tauros at six, uh, 70%, Storm, a Chansey that's paralyzed, Stormy that's at low HP and paralyzed, Exeggutor at low HP and paralyzed, and Jinx at full HP but it's sleeping. So this is starting to look like a Tauro sweep for me. So my goal here 
is to get the Chansey down into Hyper Beam range, preferably. Uh, damage the Tauros or paralyze it ASAP, if possible. And to not allow the Starmie uh, to heal up. The Executor is not a worry and the Jinx is not a worry. Uh, especially Jinx, that is a free invitation for me to go into my own Snorlax or uh, Tauros. Um, and uh, the Starmie, all that means is that I do not get to send in my Jinx or perhaps Executor. So I have to use my uh, Chansey, Starmie, Snorlax, Tauros combo. But that's not really a problem. So let's see here. Starmie comes in. I use Thunder Wave in case he stays in and tries a prediction. Uh, he goes to Chansey. I go to Chansey as he goes to Tauros and I believe that uh, Chaser predicted me here to go into my Snorlax to heal up. Uh, that would be, if Chansey stayed in, that would be a fine play. However, uh, I I identified that Ch uh, the Chaser had two options at this point in time. He could either attack me with Thunderbolt or use Thunder Wave, or he uh, to hit the Starmie, or he could predict my Snorlax and go into his Tauros. Uh, and I tried to uh, stop both of those options from happening by sending in my chance. It was a very safe play, because if I predict... This was... Uh, I predicted the Thunderbolt. But even if I mispredict, this is still a favorable position for me. Because, as you can see, Toro stays in, goes for Body Slam, but I get to use Thunder Wave, and now this is opening up a sweep for me. I sacrifice my Jinx to the, the, the critical hit Tauros, Body Slam. Snorlax comes in as a sacrifice. I use the Body Slam. I live the opposing Body Slam. That's a roll. It deals 23 to 27. Uh, but I didn't really need it. Uh, and Hyper Beam connects, kills Tauros. Chance comes in. Body Slam uh, uh, brings it down to 59%, that's within Tauros' Hyper Beam range, and now this Tauros is within a sweeping position. Everything is just going to go down from here, and Tauros comes in, makes one entrance, and that's just enough. It kills the uh, Jinx, Body Slam, Body Slam, kills Executor Hyper Beam, kills Starmie with a Body Slam, and that's the, the game. Uh, so looking at this battle, I was very content with my play. I think that I made some very good judgment calls and uh, some solid predictions as well. I think that a key turn, well, two key turns in this battle was the Snorlax of Chaser exploding on my own Snorlax. Uh, as if I were to win that speed tie, uh, I believe that I would have a massive advantage already. Instead, he gets to blow up and makes the game quite even. However, I make uh, one switch into Starmie, and then I get the crucial prediction right uh, to heal up with rest. And after that, I get the advantage and I do not let it go, as my paralyzed uh, the chance he stops his specially based team from uh, getting a, uh, in front of me, while his Tauros can uh, is his sole remaining physical option, and that can't really switch in on Chansey either. So I get to dominate the game uh, with my Chansey and my Snorlax combined. Uh, Chansey stops his offenses while Snorlax breaks his team slowly, and in the end, my Tauros comes in to clean up with Stormy acting as uh, a body slam soaker. Uh, I think this was a very good game and I hope you guys enjoyed it. Uh, check my channel for other videos in the red, blue, yellow metagame and stay tuned for more battles coming up. Until next time, this is Isa signing out.